And uh, um, you came, you come from USA, is that right? And you, you come from UK. So there are two differences, uh, lots of differences between uh, the, the sound for coming from USA and the sound coming from the UK. How do you combine this, uh, these two influences? Well, like I said before, we do have quite similar tastes in music. Like he likes a lot of UK and British bands and me, US. But um, there's a few very strong like backgrounds. Like I grew up listening to Britpop like I was really heavily influenced by Blur and um, Oasis, people like that, like that and Pulp, like that was like my teenage angst years. And so, you know, I think I I might bring a little bit more of that edge. I don't really know what kind of edge that is, but, um, and you, I don't know, you've got a much deeper background, like you listen to a lot more jazz and things when you were younger and things like that. So we do bring a few different things, but, I think maybe it might just be more of a difference of communication. I think English people communicate a lot differently to American people, do you think? We use a lot more words <laughs> <laughs> and we talk nonsense sometimes, but <laughs> I think that that might be more of um more of the difference that we have to meet and combine. And I think I think there's a lot of it is I can generate a lot of content and a lot of material, song material. Um, but a lot of it's really crap, <laughs> and and uh, and uh, and she makes it cool, <laughs> basically. <laughs> really, really, I think it's a big. Uh, that's, I think it's the way it is. I can write songs, you know, all day, but they're usually really rubbish. And so, she puts this cool. I don't know if it's an English edge. I don't know if that's a British thing. I really don't know if me being American or her being English has anything to do with it. I don't know. I think a lot of uh, a lot of my influence that I've brought with me from America came from my childhood. My parents were pastors of churches, and so I was I I grew up in this environment with loads of gospel music, and it's really repetitive music. Lots of uh, really simple chord changes and really common intervals, but they're really strong melodies and and. And it's just like this repetition over and over and over, choruses over and over. And um, I quite like that. I mean, I don't really listen to gospel music anymore at all. Um, I haven't in a long time. Maybe I should because I have good memories of it. But I think that's, I think that I've brought that like repetition kind of thing into our, into our stew. And uh, how do you prepare yourself uh, um, when you you're going touring uh, all around Europe and uh, all around the world? Well, we do it all the time, so <laughs> we're getting used to it now. We're doing it, you know, one month on, one month off. Like we tour so much lots now. Lots of multivitamin juice. Yeah, lots of multivitamins, and uh, we try and relax when we're in England. We try and just do normal things, you know. We go on lots of walks and like just try and relax and prepare ourselves mentally and physically and then when we go on tour it's just like go 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 because we don't have a lot of days off we just go for it so all the best we can do is just try and relax in between <laughs> yeah that helps and uh, your music is lovely and uh, um, very soft uh, and uh, um, what do you think uh, might be the difficulties uh, in, in these days full of uh, electronic music and uh, hard uh, rock uh, way of doing music? Hmm. Well, the difficulties for us playing the music we do, looking at that? Yeah. Hmm. Don't know. That's an interesting question because a lot of our influence is we do listen to a lot of electronica, like, you know, particularly like Air and Zero Seven and things like that, more like chilled out electronica. And, um, I think that influences us quite a lot, actually. And we do have the kick drum, which is quite like a, you know, it, it has an edge, even though it's acoustic. A lot of people compare it to electronica. Um, and for us, we just, um, I don't really know. I don't really think we worry about it. We just write what we want to write. And our music does have different edges sometimes. And we just, you know, we're just going to explore it. And hopefully people still like it. I think there is a niche. There's a lot of people that do like um 
our kind of indie folk acoustic pop I think there are a lot of bands around that are representing that um, and underground scenes as well so hopefully there will always be a, a place for us <laughs> I mean I think if we had more limbs we would be playing more yeah. instruments yeah. We've, I mean <laughs> we're already have both of our feet and hands working pretty hard on stage so uh, we don't really look at it necessarily that like we're so far off from some of these fuller bigger bands because um, we're doing as much as we can um, I don't know maybe it feels I d it just feels right to us I don't I don't I don't look at it and, and see any sort of challenges or roadblocks in our way we just play honest music so thank you very much for your kindness and uh, see you next time in Italy yeah, thank you. <laughs>